Hello everyone and welcome back to Heather's Happy Stitches. Today we are doing a Don't Get Burnt Out Tuesday. Um, instead of painting today, we are doing a cross stitch. And I found this one in my stash and I loved it. I can't adult today. <coughs> So I started this one on my Twitch channel, um, but I'm going to carry it over into this because I wanted to actually complete this one. So for a quick reference, these are the colors that came with the kit. We got this teal color and two greens and then this red and this pink. And as you know, or I'm sure you have devised that I don't like pink. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the pink and the red. And those go to these flowery bits up here. And I'm going to replace them with this light blue color and this dark blue color. I think they look good together. And you can't replace the pink with the blue be, uh, without changing the red around it because I think that would look weird. So I'm going to change that into these colors. So... <clears throat> Uh, we are doing the lettering. I haven't started the uh, the back stitch yet. I'm going to do that last. So, but just know that the uh, the words that I'm doing right now say I can't adult today. And the reason I thought that that was so apt to uh, match was because I had a little issue with my diamond painting. Uh, well, I think it's more than just a little issue, but, um, hang on, I'm, oops, sorry, I'm not supposed to show the pattern. Um, so I'm just counting my blocks right now so that I can, uh, know how, where to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down one over. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one over. And I'm in a different recording location, so I don't have my uh, stand right with me. <coughs> so that's why it's at a weird angle and uh, why I'm uh, holding it as opposed to having it snapped into something. So let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One over. Okay. Uh, so the issue that I had with my diamond painting is I'm talking about the uh, the hula can custom. One, two, three, four, five, Talking about the hula can custom, the one that I'm doing for my husband for Christmas. He, uh, or I've been working on it, or trying to work on it. And on what was it Thursday? Uh, Thursday of last week. That would be. Let me see. 
the 7th, November 7th, I, Jaden, my son, wanted to use my computer so that he could play Sims. And I was like, okay, I want to work on this, my diamond painting. So I moved everything over to my husband's desk, which is just right behind my desk in the office. And I, I had the multi tray set up because I wanted to do, uh, a bunch of sections, um, quickly in tandem. And I didn't want to be constantly changing colors. So I had the multi-trace set up going. Well, <laughs> that did not work out well for me. And it was, it was the first time I had ever put all of the trays together to do the multi-tray system. And so I was like, that's, it's a lot of trays. So, but I had it all set up nice and neat, and I sat down in my husband's ergonomic chair, and he has it set for him. And obviously, he's taller than I am. One, two, three, four, five. So, it's a little awkward for me to sit in because, uh, or he's taller than I am, and he's all legs. So, um, what is comfortable for me is not, or what is comfortable for him is not comfortable for me. But I was like, okay, you know, I can be, I can sit in it gingerly to try and get the, uh, so that the chair doesn't bounce all over the place and mess up my multi-tray system. Boy, was I wrong. As soon as my butt hit that chair, it flung backwards. And I knocked over a soda he had sitting in his, on his desk. And I'm sure you can guess what happened. The soda spilled into my drills. Luckily, it was only like three trays that got uh, sodaed. So that wasn't so bad. So I was like, crap, crap, crap. So... I dabbed up all of the soda, got the all of the drills off the, the, the paper towel that I used, and then I got up to take them into the kitchen so that I could use my sift to wash them off and try and get them not sticky. Well, when I panicked about my drills... I left my canvas uncovered on his desk. Didn't even dawn on me to cover it up. Because I was, you know, worried about my drills. Well. Uh, let's count. One, two, three. Come out on four. One, two, three, come out on four. Okay. So, it didn't even dawn on me to cover up my canvas. I was like, it'll be fine. Actually, I didn't even think about the canvas. When I got up, I was worried about the drills. So, I went into the kitchen with the drills, washed them, and the trays that they were in so that they didn't stay sticky. And when I come back into the office... You can imagine my shock and horror when I find the canvas on the floor. And I'm like, what happened? Oh, oh, oh my goodness, what happened? So I pick it up and it is bent and wrinkled and the, the glue is sticking to the other glue and like... I'm like, holy mackerel, what happened? So I un, like, I unstick it from each other. Thankfully, the glue is still pretty okay. It didn't tear or anything from being stuck to itself. But as I was, but as soon as I got it all unfolded, I realized that there are cat paws and cat fur all over the canvas. 
or a cat paw prints. One of the cats, when I left to clean my drills, decided to walk across my husband's desk and got stuck to the canvas and freaked out. And not only one paw got stuck, but multiple paws got stuck. And that made them flip out more. And I'm assuming it, she rolled, knocked it off the floor, and that's how I got fur all over it, because it got stuck to her and it pulled out loose shedding fur that she probably had on her anyway. And it wound up on the floor, and when they hit the floor, she came un unattached, and she split. Ah. <sighs> So I was like, this is not going well. So I was like, okay, you know, so I got it all fixed as best I could. I got as much of the hair off as I could. Thankfully, the canvas is still pretty tacky. So it shouldn't have a problem keeping the drills. And if it does, I have... Um, some of that tack it over and over again stuff that I can put on it and it should be fine. <coughs> but then I was like, okay, I, at this point I'm frustrated, like really frustrated. Over two, down one. One, two, down one. So at this point I'm really frustrated and I'm like, really adamant about being left alone at this point because I'm just like I'm pulling all the cat hair off of it trying to figure out how to get the cop the paw prints off the canvas which unfortunately I wasn't able to get the paw prints off because I don't know how to do it I can't figure out how to do it without ruining the stick anyway but I got a majority of the cat hair off and, uh, and I got it all unstuck from each other and all of the, the warping, uh, hopefully doesn't, isn't permanent. Um, so, so, but then I was like, so my son, since he's over there playing Sims, he, he's like, mommy, I want to help you diamond paint and I'm like no kiddo not right now you know mommy's frustrated and I'm doing a confetti full area so you can't just grab a oh my goodness <sighs> you can't just grab a gem and stick it anywhere but when I get to the blocky area I'll let you help and he didn't like that answer so he turned in a very dramatic way. And he was wearing his blankie as a cape. And his blankie, when he dramatically turned, flared up and caught the edge of the uh, table tray or the TV tray that I had most of my drills on. And he knocked him off. And I was like, and he's like, I'm going to my room. I mean, I didn't yell at him. He knew he had done something bad. I didn't need to yell at him. But I was like, huh. So luckily it was only two trays that he had ultimately knocked over, thankfully. Like, onto the floor knocked over. Uh, some of them spilled into other containers and onto the uh, top of the thing. This, I still haven't sorted the drills out because, and this is the result. Can you see that? I mean... It doesn't look like a lot, 
But, like, that's going to take me, like, half an hour or something to sort that out. And I still haven't done it because I'm just, like, I was, like, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just, I quit. <laughs> so, like, I'm cleaning up the drills. I'm sweeping up the floor, trying to get them all off the floor so that I don't lose any, so that I don't run short. And, uh... Chloe, the daughter of Jeff's niece that's staying with us, that's quickly turning into a permanent guest, it came into the office and she's like, what you doing? One, two, three, come up on four. She's like, what you doing? And I'm like, and at this point, I'm just like, leave me alone, go away. But despite the fact that she's a pain in my butt... I have to be nice to her. So I'm like, I'm cleaning up a mess. I Can you go away? Did I go over too many? One, two, three. I did. I'm like, I'm cleaning up a mess. Go away. So I'm like, I'm cleaning up a mess. Kid, you know, go away. And she was like, can I help? No, you can't help. Please go away. And she's like, are you diamond painting? And I'm like, I was. Can you please go away? And she's like, can I help you? diamond paint and I'm like go away please and she's like okay <laughs> but like I was so frustrated uh over two or over one down one so I'm like oh, oh. so I clean it all up and I like, I triple check that I have all of the the diamonds off the floor. I'm pretty sure I got them all. And then I put them in that container, and then I'm like, I'm, t I'm done. I can't. I'm done. So, they, uh... Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so, like, I put all of the trays away, and, like... People just keep coming in and wanting to bug me. And I'm like, not in the mood, go away. But I couldn't do that because it was uh, adults and uh, the people that I'm caring for. Uh, my my in-laws that kept coming in and wanting to bug me while I'm trying to put everything away. And they want me to do things, so I have to get up and do them. And like... I'm just getting more frustrated and frustrated and frustrated. So I'm like, as soon as I get everything done, it's time for dinner. And then I'm just like, I don't want to deal with anybody right now. So I eat in the office. And Jeff comes in and I'm I'm mad and I'm steaming and I'm frustrated. And he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, no, I'm not okay. I kind of, 
I unintentionally took it out on him. I apologized for it afterwards. Or like, as soon as I snapped at him, I apologized. And I told him what was happening. And he's like, oh, sounds like you're not having a good day. And I'm like, you think? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to do two more. Uh, so I end up eat so I end up eating in the office. And uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So I end up eating in the office just to be left alone. And Jeff thankfully understood and told everybody just to leave me alone, that I wasn't in a good mood, and that if they needed anything to get him. And thankfully they listened. So I I spent that night uh, diamond painting. Or not diamond painting, uh, playing Sims 4. And then uh, I haven't diamond painted since. I On Friday, I had a ton of appointments that I did. I couldn't, uh, even if I wanted to, I couldn't uh, do anything. Because appointment schedule lasted, uh, started at... 10 so we left the house at 9 so I left the house at 9 and didn't actually get more than a maybe an hour in the house because I didn't get home until 8 15 that night on Friday after all of my appointments and other things I had errands and stuff I had to run so I didn't get home until like 8 15 and then I did my stream from uh 8.30, or okay, it was like 8.45, from 8.45 to 11.30. <sighs> so, and then on Saturday, uh, I painted, I did minis. And then today is Sunday, and I am doing this, but I have a couple of other things to do. So this, one, two, three, come out on four. And then one up. <sighs> So, and then this one is going to be broken up because um, I set myself up Saturday, Saturday morning. I set myself up in my son's room because my son is in at my mom's house. So his room was vacant. And this way, doing it this way, I can pretty much guarantee that nobody would bug me because they know that if I'm in here, I'm serious about what I'm doing. So I spent Saturday uh, painting my minis because I haven't, I've been neglect, kind of been neglecting them. And then I ended up painting the wrong mini first because um, the guy who, who uh, hired me to paint them he didn't give me an order to paint them in. So I painted the big one first. I painted the dragon. And then he came to look at him yesterday and he's like, well, I wanted the goblin painted first. And I was like, well, you didn't tell me that. other Because goblins are easy to paint. But the dragon is a big old, big old thing in a weird, awkward position. And I knew it would take me forever to paint it. So I did that one first. Gosh, darn it. 
This is what happens when you're talking instead of concentrating on what you're doing. came up, up one too many so it should have been in this square as no this square as opposed to starting in that square <sighs> to be in this one where is it this one right yes <sighs> so but that's why I didn't get Friday or Saturdays up is because I was just done. I was done. I didn't want to do anything craft related, not really. Well, I mean, I painted minis, but I had to do that. But I didn't want to do any, uh, I didn't want to do diamond painting. I didn't want to do even this cross stitch. I didn't want to do. And I didn't want to, I don't know, my I didn't want us one, so so there's that. So that is my excuse for why uh, I didn't do anything, but I will get back on track. And I will, I'm not taking a break. I just, I needed a break. I was so frustrated and my didn't want us was winning in regards to, uh, everything in life. <sighs> Let's see. We're about 30 minutes. I think this is the least progress I've ever done in a video that's p mainly because I'm talking and I am not just speeding it up like in two hours I did this on my live stream 
but since I'm doing this one as a not speed video, I don't know how long I should make these videos. My last story time is when I was complaining about the people that were living here, about uh, their dog biting my son. And they are definitely not planning on leaving anytime soon. And now even the husband is practically living in the backyard. Like we have like a small alcove that's out of the way in the back of the backyard or like on the side of the backyard. And he's practically moved in over there. Like the only time he comes in is to go to the bathroom and that's it. And even then, I think he's peeing on a wall. So he only comes in to go number two. <sighs> and yes, that is disgusting. I agree. But I mean... What can I do? I can't say anything to them. I was specifically told I'm not allowed to say anything to them in regards to anything about them. So I don't. But I complain to Jeff all the time. My husband. Uh, let's see. Over three, come out four. One, two, three, come out four. <sighs> and I don't know, I'm just, I'm tired of crawling over people to do anything. I'm tired of being restricted to the back of the house because God forbid I I take over some of their space. Do anything in their space. Oh no, I lost a thread. How do my threads get so uneven? I'm hoping to finish this tea so that I'm not I'm hoping to finish the tea so I don't have to uh, do a whole new thread just for like one or two stitches
I'm not sure what to talk about now that I'm done complaining about things. Oh, so I'm rereading. This is a good thing to talk about. I'm rereading A Handmaid's Tale because a second book came out. And I want to read it. But I want to reread The Handmaid's Tale so that if there's any information that references the first book, well, I mean, I'm sure there will be. There will probably be a ton of information that references the first book. But I want to make sure that I understand those references and I'm not just like, what? Because <laughs> I'm sure it'll happen. Uh, so... I just want to make sure I understand everything that's going to be happening in the second book because I watched the whole show and I was like, it's really good. The show, I think, is a lot better than the book. The author of the book had a lot of input in the TV show on Hulu. Um, so that's why, but like, I think the TV show is better than the book, which is weird for me to say, ah, am I going to make it? Eh. Wrong hole. Because there's a lot, lot, lot more in the book or in the TV show than there is even in the book. Like, they changed Serena Joy's age and they took out the... Oh, uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> and they took... From the show, they took out that she had a, a limp and needed a cane. And... I had forgotten that details, those details. <sighs> We're going to be able to do it. And, like, there are a couple of details in the show that are, I mean, a good, a good bit of detail in the show that there isn't in the book so far. So, uh, I'm just, my question was, you know, why, why did she put so much into the show that she didn't put into the book? And I mean, I understand that the book was uh, written a while ago. And it was banned from schools and things. And I'm just, 
I don't quite understand why. Is all. I mean, because it's like, yes, it was women's suppression and things like that, but I don't, I didn't think it was that bad, but that's my opinion. My opinion doesn't count for much. And if I can hurry up and do this, Oh, Lord, I'm just going to leave it there for right now. Because right now I need to pause, get all of this stuff out of my son's room, and then go pick up my son from my mom's house. And the next time you see me, I will be at a different angle. See, I told you, different angle. Poof, like magic. All right, so we completed the I Can't Adult Today portion of it. The only thing I haven't done is the uh, back stitch, but I think I'll do that last. Um, so I'm going to move into the green sections, do all the green stuff, and then do the flowers last.
Okay, so the dark green are the stars. So let's see, where is the easiest place to start? Basically meaning the closest place to start. It looks like, oh, excuse me. Starting up here with the eye, uh, by the eye and then working my way around would probably be the easiest. Okay, let's see. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, come out on nine. It's one, two, three, four, ugh. Four, five, six, seven, eight, come out on nine. So it is like four hours later, more like six hours later. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I stopped recording at 11.30 this afternoon and it is now 10 o'clock. So a lot late, longer than I thought. <coughs> so because of that, I do not remember what I was talking about earlier. So if when I go to edit this, I am talking about the same thing I talked about earlier, I will just uh, go ahead and cut the sound and go into speed mode because nobody needs to hear the same story twice. I'm pretty sure I was just talking about uh, how bad my day was. <sighs> but no. Um, sorry, I, I kept catching this on the bottom, so I needed to fan it out a little bit, so I, d I stopped catching it so easy. Um, but that's not what I want to talk about this time. So I am talking about my... semi-permanent guests. Quickly becoming permanent guests. And I hate it. Every second of it. But anyway, Jaden spent the weekend at my mom's house. Which he has been doing his whole life, right? Not every weekend, but every other weekend he goes over there, or most every other weekend. 
He goes over there, gives me time, gives me a break, gives me time to record, uh, things like that. They haven't, uh, because of his ADHD, um, and bipolar disorder, he, uh, he, he is a handful, like a serious handful, like, like, oh my goodness, handful, like pull your hair out kind of handful. And so they took a break from him for a month. And that's fine. They need it for their mental well-being. You know, I can't, I can't, uh, fault them for needing a break because I need a break. And, you know, I can tell you because you're not my parents, but I'm like... You need a break. You need a break from him f for the Friday night, Saturday day, and s and night, and then half a day Sunday. You need a break from him? Really? I deal with him every day, 24-7, and you need a break from him. But I don't say that to them because I'm not a heard. But anyway, this weekend was different because when Jade, after Jaden left, uh, two of the three house guests left. Plus the dog. <laughs> it was great. The house was quiet. One, two, three, four, five, six, six over, one down. One down, one, two, three, four, five, six. The house was quiet. They, uh, <clears throat> there was no screaming, no yelling, no complaining. So it was nice and quiet, so I got a lot of, well, not a lot of work done, but I got some work done. And I went to pick Jaden up today. That's what I did when I stopped recording earlier. I just went over to my mom's house and picked him up. And, uh... When I came home, they still weren't home. The uh, two of the three. And I was like, sweet, maybe they'll stay the whole weekend because you know, tomorrow's Veterans Day. And maybe they'll stay over there because they were at her sister's house. The other, the other one that I don't like. Uh, anymore, I don't like anymore. Um, so, um, when I got home, it was still quiet. Jaden was happy outside playing all by himself, mostly all by himself. He wanted me to play with him too. I played with him for a little while. Um, and then they came home. And immediately as soon as they got home Jade went out there and wanted to play and Jaden is very eager to please Jaden is everyone wants to be everyone's friend and he feels that everyone is his friend And as much as I'd like to dissuade him from the notion that not everybody is your friend buddy, I don't really want to. Because he's he's seven. He just turned seven. He doesn't need that harsh reality check. But the little girl seems hell-bent on giving him one. 
Because he goes out there and he's like, hey, you want to play? And she immediately starts whining at him. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. And he's like, but I just want to play. And she's like, leave me alone. And I'm like, dude. But before I could say anything, Jeff stepped in and separated them. And I'm like, you can't keep punishing Jaden because she's being a butt. And I'm like, I know she's a kid. But like, she's... Urgh. She's an entitled little whiny little butt. And... She thinks the world revolves around her. It has to be her, it's her way or the highway. And if it's not her way, she will whine and complain. And, and I hate it. And I think she's a bully because when Jaden gets something new, she, she wants it, she has to have it. And if her mom is there, Jaden has to share with her. But if she gets a new toy or she gets a new thing and he wants to play with it, no, it's mine. You can't have it. Stop touching it. Go away. And I just want to slap the sh stuffing out of her. <sighs> but I'm not allowed to. Not allowed to. And I'm like, there's, <laughs> there's this, uh, this video of a police officer arresting somebody, a girl. One, two, one, two, yep. A girl and she's whining and she's whining and she's whining and I showed it to Jeff and I was like this is totally her in her in the near future as soon as she learns how to drive this is gonna be her <coughs> and like seriously if you want to know what it's like in my house you should watch this video because it's like this 24-7 Besides the police officer. But like the whining and the complaining and the... And, uh But if she gets a new toy, Jaden's not allowed to touch it. It's her new toy. It's hers. She can't have... He can't have it. It's hers. So when he gets a new toy, so I, I've, and she's like, I want it, it's my turn. And I'm like, no, no. He can't, he can't play with your new toys. You can't play with his new toys. And her, his, her mom gives me like dirty looks and stuff. And I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm tired of letting your son bully my, or I'm tired of your daughter bullying my son. Because that's exactly what it is, bullying. And I'm sorry if you can't see it or if you can't, if you don't think it is, it is. I'm just, I'm so sick of it and I am so ready for them to leave. But like, while they were gone this weekend, I was not, I was hardly stressed at all hardly stressed at all and I was like wow I didn't realize how stressed I was with them in the house plus the dog until they weren't there and the stress was gone 
I'm like, it's it's amazing. It is amazing. And now her husband is camping in the backyard. He doesn't come in but to go to the bathroom. I shit you not. <clears throat> and it is so inappropriate for him to be out there and I don't care if you have a problem with people. If you have a problem with people, you're living in a house full of people and you knew that when you came in plus a child that has mental health issues plus your own whiny little child your own whiny little brat what did you think was going to happen and it's like it's not like they're really looking for a place to go because they're spending all of their money and they're spending all of their money. They're not saving a look of it. And they're like, oh, we're just waiting for, uh, let's call him Jim Bob. We're just waiting for Jim Bob to to uh, get his credit up so that we can go we can buy a house together Jim Bob now Jim Bob has five kids I, I told him about you or I told you about him uh, in the dog biting story the one that has uh, five kids two two with autism one with, uh, and two really little kids. One who the dog has bitten. And she was like, you're fine, go play. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? With the muzzle on, I might add. Yeah, I was not happy about that. I was like, that's why they left this weekend and took the dog with them because they thought that if I didn't see the dog I would forget that the dog had bitten somebody else another kid and I'm like no But seriously, if I could tell them to get out, I would. I hate them being here. And then back to the little girl being mean to Jaden. Because she is mean to Jaden. And like, she doesn't... He eats with his mouth open. Like, that's how he eats. And she doesn't want him sitting next to her because he eats with her mouth open. And I'm like, <gasps> dude, there are a ton, a ton, a ton of people out there in the world that eat with their mouth open. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just uploading a, uh, I'm just uploading Mondays yesterday's video Monday's yes Monday's video yesterday's when you see this jeez uh but I'm just like 
Oh my goodness, child. And Jaden's eager to please. And she knows this. No, well, I mean, back on to, so I kind of lost track of what I was talking about. But, uh, she, did I do too many? There should be two. I did do too many. This is what happens when you're talking and you're not paying attention. And then I'm like, let's make sure, four, ah, that's where I messed up, and right here, and I'm like, dude, there are a bunch of people out there in the world that chew with their mouth open, deal with it. But it turns out that Jaden has to be extra about it. When he found out that she didn't like it, he started smacking his food on top of eating with his mouth open. So when I say smacking his food, with his mouth open, he'll go <coughs> at her. And she hates it. And she screams and whines at him. And I'm like, good job, buddy. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> because that's just him being a bully, so I reprimand him for that. I was like, don't stoop to her level, kid. But Jaden's one of those kids that if you tell him not to do something, he's gonna do it. And I'm like, at this point, they should know that. I'm like, it's not like all of this stuff came about yesterday. All of this stuff has been going on since before you moved in. And everybody else in the house has dealt with it. Dealt with it. She needs to deal with it. She needs to get over herself and understand that she's not the only person in the world. And she's not the only person in the house. So needs she and she doesn't even live here. So need, she needs to shut up and act like a guest and not like you own the place. I don't know, I'm just, I am so stressed out with them here. <sighs> like... I'm surprised I haven't had more anxiety attacks. 
because I do have them, but <sighs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm tired of it all. I'm tired of the drama. I'm tired of them like lording things over me like she thinks she can take better care of my in-laws than I can and you know I was like okay you want to try let's try you know so I was going to get a job and I was going to be like, okay, you take them to all of their doctor's appointments. You take them to all of their things. And go for it. You know, I talked to Jeff about it. He said, yeah, that, you know, get, go ahead, get a job. Let them take care of the in-laws until after Christmas. See what happens. So I talked to the in-laws about it. And they told me flat out no. And I was like, why? You know, you seem to like the idea of having your grandkids take care of you. And they were like, no, because let's call him Frank. Frank is so unreliable to the point where he doesn't even go to his own doctor's appointments. And literally, the only time he leaves the house is to go to a dispensary. <coughs> he doesn't go to the... He barely goes to his doctor's appointments. He doesn't go to the store. And whenever, on the off chance that I uh, overbooked or... Because the VA schedules your appointments. You have no say in it. Or if the VA overbooks somebody and I can't be in two places at once, you know, I ask, hey, since you're in the house, can you be useful? Not like that, but that's the sentiment. Since you're in the house and you're good for nothing most of the time, can you take... Can you take so-and-so to their doctor's appointment? Now, if it's Brenda, if it's, if it's Brenda, my mother-in-law, she is afraid to be in elevators. Uh, when she was working, she got trapped in an elevator and it's scared her. And she's afraid of being in an elevator alone, and she doesn't like uh, relying on strangers, and it's a bunch of other things. And so if she, if she has a doctor's appointment, they all have to go. Because uh, Frank sits in the car for the entire appointment, no matter what it is. He will not get out of the vehicle. <clears throat> and you can't do that. So they all have to go. Because granddaughter doesn't drive. So she can't take him. Not alone. And then if father-in-law goes, he has Alzheimer's. So you can't send him in there alone because he will never remember what the doctor told him. Never ever. So somebody has to go with him 
to uh, so that they can remember what's happening so they can know what's going on so when he's like what did we just talk about you could be like this this and this <sighs> so again she would have to go because he can't go all by himself and when I talked to the in-laws about me getting a job and letting them take over they told me no flat out no because they are so unreliable that the father-in-law who has uh, not only does he has Alzheimer's he has convulsions stress related convulsions and he said that if I got a job and left their care to the grandkids that he was afraid that he would be the one my my father-in-law that he would be the one to end up being driving himself and my mother-in-law to their appointments and he is on medical suspension he cannot drive so he, he told me no I wasn't allowed to get a job I wasn't allowed to leave their care up to them because he would end up having to do something he's legally not allowed to do. And I was like, I hadn't thought of that. I hadn't thought of that. So, there's that conclusion. Even, I mean, even when I wanted to get a job and be like, okay, I'll just leave their care in their hands, you know, let them be the caregivers for a little while so that I can make a couple extra bucks and for Christmas and get caught up on bills and everything because am I all a rat's nest under there? I am. Oh, that's the beginning. Okay. <sighs> nope, not a rat's, rat's nest. So they they told me no, and I was like, well, I mean, it's whee. it's nice that you think you need me around. <laughs> You know, but it also would have been nice to be able to get a get some extra money for the house and stuff. just like I hate having them here I 
that's enough about my complaining. It's very cathartic. <laughs> Talking to a camera. But it's also nerve wracking because I'm afraid that she's standing behind the door listening to what I say. <sighs> because apparently she's done it before. But I mean, I kind of don't really care if she knows how I really feel about her. And besides, I have an ace in, ace in the hole. I have a golden ticket, if you will. And if need be, I will quickly get them out of this house. So, at least that makes me feel better. So what I think, oh, I have no idea how long we've been filming. Have you been able to see any of that? Oh, I'm going to hate myself if I didn't catch any of that on camera. But I think that is it for right now. Uh, I am going to finish this and probably, oh, excuse me, probably by the next Tuesday, or the next Don't Get Burnt Out Tuesday, I'll uh, have all of the outside and just have the back stitch to do. Uh, well, I mean, I'll record it all, so, and I'll probably do, like, a speedy time lapse like I usually do, but, uh, if you prefer me talking, let me know, and I will try, try to, uh, find some topics, but if you want to hear me consistently speak, well, pretty much consistently, you can watch my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash diamondpaintingheather and I do all kinds of crafts on there. So, but that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And remember, you are beautiful. You are amazing. Keep being you you and have a great day.